Hello guys, this is Sayyid Muhammad Vakas. Uh, I'm gonna continue this topic, PRF system designing and selection. As you know that uh, in my first video, I have explained you guys uh, VRF system design basics part 1. That what is VRF system and VRF system branching layout and VRF system design limitations. So today in this video, I am gonna explain part 2 of VRF system design basics and things we'll cover is uh, outdoor indoor unit model selection remote controller for the VRF system and uh, basic configuration of VRF system we'll take some examples uh, so these are the things we're gonna cover in this video so let's start with outdoor indoor unit model selection so as you can see over here I have a table uh, related to outdoor unit models you can see over here uh, we have inverter unit and these are the single unit models uh, he, uh, these are the heat pumps and these are the cooling only models and this is their horsepower corresponding horsepower and uh, this is the cooling capacity as you can see over here and this one is the heating capacity and the number of connectable indoor units for each outdoor unit as you can see that these are the single outdoor unit models for heat pump and uh, cooling only models and these are the combined outdoor unit models with the standard models and high efficiency models so this is important to keep in mind while selecting the outdoor unit so basically you is gonna select outdoor unit based on two factors what the first factor is number of connectable indoor units and the second one is the total capacity of the indoor units I'm gonna explain this later when we'll see an example of system basic configuration so just keep in mind about these things so as you can see that we have a, a stand efficiency model 42 horsepower system it is divided into three outdoor units one is 16 horsepower other is 14 and third one is 12 horsepower so uh, these are the number of combined outdoor units so if you have 42 horsepower you will have 3 outdoor units 16, 14 and 12 and make sure to arrange them in order of their capacities 16 horsepower uh, will come first and it will be header and the other two act as follower as I already explained in my first video so similarly if you have a high efficiency model so you can select your uh, outdoor unit from this table out uh, high efficiency models so move back to the move to the next page you can see the heat pump models over here all of them are outdoor unit this uh, these are their capacity core in the horsepower and this is their model number and the combined outdoor units this is first is for standard efficiency and second for high efficiency model now you need to understand the nomenclature of uh, VRF system you can see MMY, MAP, OO, OHT8 so MMY is basically modular multi as you can uh, as I told you this is SMMS outdoor unit so it is modular multi series then M stand for single outdoor unit model and if there is no mark between MMY and AP there is no mark that means it's a combined model if M is there that means a single model as you can see over here this is MMY MAP so all uh, up till here 16 are single model you can see over here number of combined outdoor units are 1 since there is no M over here that's why we have number of combined outdoor units more than 1 that is 2, 3 and in the high efficiency model also from 2 to 4 maximum number of combined outdoor units are 4 so this is a 48 horsepower system with uh, outdoor units 4 so now we have the cooling only model you can see over here this is the capacity core this is the model name and number of combined units for cooling only models and this is a high efficiency model this is for standard efficiency model standard uh, models and uh, it's 
nomenclature is also same like uh, heat pump the only difference is we don't have H over here because H stands for the heat pump and these are the cooling only models so there is no H over here as you can see we don't have any H over here but in our heat pump models we have H over here so all of them are heat pump models so these are indoor units different types of indoor units are available that uh, uh, discharge cassette type and uh, compact cassette type one way cassette type, concealed duct type high static pressure and flow standing so different types of uh, indoor units are also available when we uh, uh, have an example then we will gonna select the indoor units from uh, these tables as you can see this is a capacity rank this is a capacity code capacity rank uh, uh, now you need to understand what is a capacity rank capacity rank is basically representing the BTUs per hour so this 9 means 9000 BTUs per hour and this 48 means 48000 BTUs per hour and this capacity code is uh, uh, nothing but the horsepower of the indoor unit so this indoor unit has 1 horsepower this one has 5 horsepower and these are the cooling capacities in kilowatt and heating capacities in kilowatt so the reason why I am telling you about this table so you need to understand how we are going to select the machine from this table so let's take an example to select the machine uh, before selecting the machine you need to understand one more table that's a combined unit for the combined condition for indoor and outdoor units as I told you capacity rank is nothing but BTUs per hour and capacity code is nothing but horsepower as you can uh, see as I told you for selecting the outdoor unit you need to check two factors uh, maximum number of connectable indoor units and total capacity code of the indoor unit basically these two things decide your outdoor units capacity so as you can see these are heat pump models and these are the cooling only these are standard models and uh, below over here we have high efficiency models and this is the capacity code of the outdoor unit maximum number of indoor units that you can connect to your system and the capacity code of the indoor units so uh, let's say you have selected uh, uh, 10 horsepower system but how you have selected this 10 horsepower system let's say if you have 14 uh, indoor units in your project and the capacity code of the indoor units is 12.5 so as you can see that 12.5 is lies between 5 to 13.5 and number of connectable indoor unit maximum you can connect is 16 but you have in your project is 14 so you are good with indoor units connectable indoor unit and good with the capacity code of indoor unit so you are gonna select this 10 horsepower system I will explain you now with one example let's say we have this uh, system and uh, we have how many indoor units we have over here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 so number of indoor units we have 13 in our project and uh, this is the capacity code of each indoor unit 0 0.8 0 0.8 capacity code as I told you this is horsepower of system so total horsepower or capacity code over here is 4.8 and over here total capacity code is 5.6 so 4.8 5.6 total 10.4 is the capacity code of your indoor units you can see total capacity code of indoor units is 10.4 so now we have to select this outdoor unit uh, I will show you how this 8 horsepower outdoor unit we have selected over here uh, you need to keep in mind the number of connectable indoor units we have over here that is 13 and the total capacity code of the indoor unit is 10.4 so now we're gonna select this outdoor unit as you can see that capacity code of the indoor unit which we have in our project is 10.4 that lies between 4 to 10.8 that's okay 
and the maximum number of connectable indoor units are 13 here and we have in project also 13 so corresponding horsepower of the outdoor unit is 8 HP so we're gonna select this model if we need only cooling then we're gonna select this model if we need both heating and cooling then we're gonna select this model and so this is how we have selected this 8 horsepower system now I will explain one more example to make you more clear let's take an example of this system as you can see that uh, how many indoor units we have over here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 16 24 32 so we have a uh, number of uh, uh, indoor units are 32 over here and the capacity code here 13.25 sum of all indoor units 13.25 13.25 so 13.25 that is 13.25 26.5 26.5, 13.25, 39.75 and 39.75 plus 14 that is 53.75 so total capacity code of the indoor units in, one, in our project is 53.75 and the indoor units which we use in our project is 32 so now we will select outdoor unit based on number of indoor units 32 and capacity code of 53.75 so how we how did we get this 40 horsepower system again we will move back to our combined outdoor units model so capacity code remember that capacity code is 53.75 and uh, number of connectable indoor units on pro in our project is 32 so 53.75 is the capacity code of indoor units so we have 53.75 so 53.75 lies between 20 and 54 so 20 and 54 we will select here and maximum number of indoor units 48 and in our project 32 so we are good with both things so we can select this 40 horsepower outdoor unit for our system if uh, heating is required then we'll select uh, heating and cooling both required we'll select this model if cooling only then we'll select this model so now i have to explain one more thing this 40 horsepower is a combined outdoor unit model divided into three different uh, outdoor units so just go to let's say we are going to select mmyap 40 4014 ht8 model cooling and heating uh, model heat pump model mmy ap 4014 ht8 move back to our first table for the outdoor units so as you can see that this is the 40 horsepower and the model which we have selected is this one uh, mmy ap 4014 ht8 and you can see that uh, number of combined outdoor units are 3 here with 1 16 horsepower second 12 horsepower and third is 12 horsepower so we have 3 outdoor units available here with 40 horsepower system so this is how we have selected this uh, 3 outdoor units for 40 horsepower system as you can see that 40 horsepower system we have 3 outdoor units 16 12 12 and make sure you will have this uh, 16 horsepower outdoor unit comes first and this act as header and the other two act as follower because uh, the outdoor unit connected to the nearest indoor unit will act as header and the other two act as follower and its capacity should be more than this and this capacity should be more than this although these are same so it's okay any one of them can be connected but if it is 14 this is 12 this 14 comes first 12 comes later so you need to arrange them according to their capacity order so this is how you can select your machines based on your uh, number of indoor units and the capacity code of the indoor unit so this is how you can select your indoor units and outdoor units based on your heat load calculations and everything
so one more thing I have to explain over here that is remote control for the VRF system as you can see uh, the different types of remote controllers available it could be a wired it could be wireless or uh, it could be a central remote controller so depending upon the type of application and number of zones you can select this remote controller for your system so uh, in my next video I will explain you guys the third part of VRF system design basics that is uh, related to VRF system design and selection using excel sheet so we will gonna do one example uh, uh, as I have an excel sheet over here so we will gonna do one example to select our indoor units and outdoor units and based on this selection we will gonna do our judgmental result whether we have selected the correct capacity of the outdoor unit and indoor unit or not so next video will be related to designing and selection of VRF system using excel sheet and then fourth video I am going to explain you guys about the uh, same thing but using software to select uh, designing and selection of uh, VRF system and the fifth video will be related to additional represent charge calculation so I hope you guys uh, learn something from this video for more videos keep watching my channel and don't forget to subscribe